Hi there, to connect your micro bit to the computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, you'll need to have a USB-A port in your computer or a converter, which will convert from USB-A to USB-C. Modern computers such as a Surface Pro or a Mac uh, certainly have. So make sure you've got that converter if necessary. When I connect my micro bit, you can see that a window appears and from here I can just click on micro bit and it will load up the software that I require which is this. If when you connect your micro bit nothing loads up then what you need to do is go to your file explorer or if using a Mac your finder and if I go down to where my computer is you can see that I have a new drive called microbit. I click on this and up comes a very similar window to the one you saw previously. I double click on microbit and the software opens up again. I'm going to pair my microbit with the computer if I can. To do that I'm going to click on let's code and I'm going to choose make code editor. Okay so once this is up I'm going to create a new project if you're new to this, there won't be lots of projects we've already done. I'm just going to create a new project. I have to give it a name. I'm going to call it first. And my coding environment appears. Now, a couple of things with that. Just like in something like Scratch, I have a whole bunch of blocks that I can choose. And inside each block, I can just grab a block of code and drag it off onto the coding area. And it will work. You can see that on the left hand side here I have an emulator so if I put in something as simple as all right on the start show LEDs and I put an X like this you can see that the X appears on my emulator and I can see control my emulator by telling it to stop and start and so on at this stage I want to take this program and I want it to actually go on to my micro bit so I'm going to go down here where the big download button is and I'm going to show you two ways that you can do this. The easiest way is to click the three little dots or the ellipse if you want to call it that and I'm going to connect the device. It will tell me to make sure my micro bit is connected which I have and then it will say pair it and as you can see there is a micro bit found which is called this. I click on this, I click connect and my microbit is now connected. So now when I want to download to my microbit, I just click the download button and the code is transferred to the microbit. Now if when you go to connect device and you say next, if it says no compatible device is found, then you may have to load your microbit code that you've created in a different way. So I'm going to cancel out of that and I'm going to drag my code in a different way. So I click on download. Notice that the program microbit first hex has appeared in my downloads folder. So that's great. So what I can do now is I can go to my explorer. If you're on a Mac, you would go to finder. I go to my downloads. I can see that microbit first hex is the program it downloaded. That's the one I want. And where do I want it? Well, I want it onto my microbit so I just click the microbit first hex and I drag it right on top of microbit D. You will see that it will download onto the computer and I can still program my microbit even if I can't pair. But remember pairing is the best way to connect your microbit to your computer. Okay thanks for watching.